Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. So I just got done doing a channeling and it is a totally different kind of channel because it's someone that literally just died, just made their transition. And I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to do a video about that because in the past I have been very specific about how I didn't want to channel people right away after they died. I felt like it was like jumping on a bandwagon. I didn't want to take advantage of someone's death or be seen as someone who was like an ambulance chaser or just trying to get likes or clicks or views. Because integrity in my psychic work and connection is very important to me. I want to make sure I honor the spirit of that person who is now in the afterlife. And I want to really respect people's families because the people that they leave behind are the ones that have to deal with all the dramas and the stories and the, and the constant updates about the person's death and how they died and all the speculation. And I just feel so sad for the families, you know, they go through a lot and the good friends, you know, and so I don't want to add to that. I don't want to be part of the drama, but I just channeled somebody who just died. So how do I come to terms with that? How do I share that with you and not look like a big old hypocrite? Because as we learn, as we grow, as we connect, we as human beings can change our minds. We can change our views. The more information you get, the more knowledge you get, then you can make different choices and you can feel differently about things like this. And so I do, and I don't know if this is a, an exception because it might just be an exception because I particularly felt drawn to this young man. And I, I mean, I was like, shoom, I could see him right away and I was really drawn to him. Or if it's something that has been kind of evolving over time because as you will see this week at Above Life Channel, I am sharing two videos of afterlife people, one who has been recommended and requested so many times and that is and I'm going to tell you now that is James Dean so I did a channeling with him and I did a channeling with Luke Perry so the, on the Luke Perry video you know 90210 Riverdale Luke Perry he died of a stroke a few months ago and I didn't channel him right away but I got so many requests to channel him but I didn't really feel like I wanted to channel him right away and I don't know if it's an energy thing like I felt really connected to this young man I just channeled and who just died which is a Disney actor Cameron Boyce I literally just channeled him it's Sunday morning July 7th and I woke up knowing I was going to channel somebody and I was like I'm doing my whole routine so I could get outside because it's beautiful right now and I thought I want to channel outside it's perfect I didn't know who I was going to channel and then I saw my YouTube feed when I was listening to one of my daily vloggers that I love to watch. I saw this news clip of uh, just an announcement on somebody else's YouTube channel that Cameron Boyce died. And he's only 20 years old, you guys, 20 years old. He's from the movie, Disney movie Descendants and the TV show Jesse is how he's most known probably. And I know who he is. Like I right away it didn't click and then I, left and started to get ready. I left the kitchen where all the magic happens and I started to get ready in the bathroom, you know, I cleaned out my teeth and I was washing my face and getting a makeup on to come and do video. And so I'm like, well, I wonder what happened? What's the deal with his death? Cause he's so young. And I could tell that it wasn't like foul play or anything super negative. Like it didn't feel like drugs. It didn't feel like overdose. It didn't feel like that. It didn't feel like suicide. It did not feel like that. And so I thought, oh, I should, you know, I want to find out how he died. I wasn't even thinking at this point of channeling him, not even remotely thinking of channeling him. And so I started to hear just a news clip about it. And as soon as they said he died, blah, 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 his family released a statement. And then all of a sudden I saw right before they said it, I saw that he had a seizure. I'm like, oh, he had a seizure. And I'm like, I wonder what, have, what would have caused a seizure. And then I see like leisure, like pleasurable activities. Like I saw casual stuff like a boating and relaxing and nothing intense, no big deal. So for like a medical thing. And then they said he died of a seizure while he was during his sleep. 
and that it was connected or related to an ongoing medical situation that he was being treated for. And so I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then I stopped listening, stopped. I didn't want any more information. And I said, I'm gonna channel him. I'm channeling this kid, I'm gonna channel him. It's really recent to when he died, but I'm gonna channel him. So this kind of rule or rules of engagement that I have about being polite and respecting the families and not wanting to get into the drama and it still applies like I don't I don't want people to watch just because they're into the gossip because that's not there's a lot of other channels mediums psychics gossip magazines and lots of other people that you can follow for that kind of stuff and that's I don't want you to follow above life channel for that that's not the point here. The point here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope and to encourage you to live your life because it's your life, so live it. Connecting with afterlife celebrities gives us a reflection of and a perspective of how we can live a better life ourselves. And by better, I don't mean comparison-wise. I mean giving ourselves the opportunity through lessons we can glean and insights we can, we can gain through hearing other people's stories and the unique perspective from the afterlife celebrity that we've respected or loved or been curious about might inspire us to make a different choice, to make a healthier choice, to explore or research something that we've been wanting to try for a long time, whether it be skydiving or yoga or something, you know what I mean? And so giving you inspiration, that's the point, not gossip, you know? And so, I mean, I hope I'm really clear on that, but I feel like I wanted to share this video to let you know. So this week you're gonna get at Above Life Channel on Monday, I always upload on Mondays, usually by 9 a.m. Central Time. You're gonna get James Dean, Luke Perry. So you're gonna be able to listen to those awesome channeling and they're kind of alike, so that's why I put them together. It's like perfect, so perfect. And I've been wanting to do Luke Perry for a while. I've kind of been feeling the vibe of that. And in the video that I recorded with Luke, you will see that I talk a lot in the beginning of the video and you can actually literally watch me make the final, make the actual connections, which probably the universe has been trying to get me to make the connections that it's okay to channel these people right after they die because it gives a lot of hope and healing to the people who they loved and who were fans and who loved them and loved their work and now feel a loss, feel a gap, you know? And like, it's okay to do that, you know? It's not self-serving to do that. It's fine to do that. And in fact, it could be a great service to do that. So I'm not telling you, I'm not promising you that when other famous people die right away that I'm gonna channel them, but I'm also not gonna say that I'm not. I'm not gonna have a hard and fast rule of my engagement about when to connect with celebrities in the afterlife. I still feel like there is a, a bit of caution that needs to be given as to when you channel somebody because of the sensitivity of the audience. The audience is super sensitive, hyper jazzed, and very volatile. And for the person who's channeling, uh, me, I don't wanna get any of the intensity blown at me. Like I don't, I don't want that, which is probably a selfish thing. I don't, I don't want, you know, the complaints, the judgments, the criticisms. I don't want that people fighting with each other, the fans, because sometimes that happens like in my experience, which I'll talk about this week on the live stream. If you haven't known that, or if you haven't been watching, I do live streams. I've been doing them over the summer. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it here at Above Life Channel. And I post on the community tab when I'm gonna do a live stream. So you have a couple of days notice. I also post at Facebook, at Above Life Channel on Facebook when I'm doing a live stream. So this week, uh, July 10th, I'll be doing a live stream at 9 a.m. Central Time. So you can jump in and watch and chat with me if you wanna do that. But I'm gonna be talking about Prince and my, my experiences of channeling with Prince. When I do a live streams, they're not channeling, they're me chatting, sharing, connecting, adding another level of understanding or clarity to whatever topics or concepts we've been dealing with on the channeling sessions. So this week I'm gonna talk about print specifically. And so, for example, when I talk about channeling somebody like right after they died, I channeled him for months after he died and I didn't share it. I was like very leery about how to share it, where to share it, when to share it, who to share it with. I mean, it took me months to share. And 
then I went and I shared everything from the beginning because I realized how helpful it would be to people in their healing journey, especially the people who loved him so much as fans. And Fram or Fam, he called them Fam, not fans. Let's be clear, Prince people will be telling me that. They'll be correcting me in the comments, you know, the Fam. But my experience with fans and, and working with channeling someone so loved is that the fans can be very passionate and then they fight with each other. And I didn't really want my channel here at Above Life Channel to become that where fans are like yelling at each other back and forth. And I didn't want that kind of an environment or community to be created, you know. But then I realized too that as you'll see in the Luke Perry video in the beginning, I all of a sudden make the connections and go, well, there's really nothing I can do about the way people behave except ban them or delete them or keep them out of the channel when there becomes a problem. But I can't like prevent necessarily people from misbehaving. I, I just can't do that. Even though I'm a mom and I have a natural instinct to manage people's behavior <laughs> or try, I'm not really successful at that as a mom now that I think about it. But, but you'll see me make the connections in the Luke Perry video about that and go, oh, yeah, so it's okay. Part of me not wanting to channel people right away is about me not wanting to get criticism, not me not wanting to deal with people fighting with each other, me not wanting to deal with dissension and disagreement and disharmony and discord. And part of that is part of the healing process for some people, apparently. And so I guess I want to tell you that I am going to be open about the timing of when I channel people. But I also want you to understand that I'm not going to just channel people that if I don't feel connected or drawn to, like with Cameron Boyce, I felt really connected to him instantly. I'm like, of course I'm gonna, of course, I'm not gonna say no to this, this momentum, this energy, inspiration to connect with him. So of course I said yes. So I did do that channel. I don't know when to share it though. I'm like not sure when to share it because it doesn't really fit with the James Dean Luke Perry thing. You know what I'm saying? Although he might think that was pretty dang cool if I did, but he's a Disney kid. So maybe I'll share him when I share Disney people. We'll see. Um, again, I don't want to like take advantage of or be seen as like taking advantage of his death or anything like that. But at the same time, it's like that's not my motive. So maybe it's okay to share him now. I don't know. I'm not sure you guys. Maybe I'll figure that out as the day goes on. But I'm recording this video on Sunday, July 7th. I want to say hey. And I know I don't usually share videos on Sunday, but I felt like doing a video and I didn't really want to wait to share it with you because all this stuff is like kind of opening up for me. And I wanted to be really, you know, I like to be really authentic with you and share with you kind of what's happening and how things are evolving. And I should be changing and growing and being more open-minded myself as well, just because I, I can connect with spirit in the afterlife or, and I do, you know, mentoring work and psychic mentoring work and coaching work. It doesn't mean that I know all the answers. Heck no. It doesn't mean that I'm done growing. Not not even I wouldn't even be a person if that was the case if I knew everything I would be some spiritual teacher in heaven or something you know or in the afterlife giving advice you know so I'm doing the best I can just like you guys are and I think it's a good idea to show you that to show you how things grow how we grow and change and evolve by example so I hope you enjoy your week and I look forward to connecting with you on the live stream on Wednesday July 10th at 9 a.m. Central Time. Just join me here at Above Life Channel on YouTube. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching.